Hi everyone, um, Holy Week is almost upon us. Just uh, wanted to make a short reflection on uh, something that I uh, personally struggle with and uh, I'm going to make it a, a goal to focus on it and work on it harder this Holy Week. Um, wanted to talk to you about judging people, uh, being judgmental and making really quick assumptions because we judge people when we make assumptions and then uh, the judgment comes next. So it's the there are individable parts, two parts. Uh, there are many Bible passages that condemn this. Jesus says, do not judge because you will be judged. Do not condemn because you will be condemned. But then he says, forgive and you will be forgiven. Uh, so why, why do we judge people? <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's very easy. It gives us pleasure. And then when we judge someone, uh, we um, feel good about ourselves. Kind of say that um, I'm better than the other. Um, but one of the uh, common reasons uh, I judge people is that uh, when I think I'm always right. Um, uh, when, when we start thinking that we are right, it becomes so easy to really judge someone. Um, one of the tools I've been using, and it's been helpful <laughs> somewhat, um, when I start remembering times that I was wrong, when I thought I'm 100% right, 110% right, so that kind of humbling remembrance uh, keeps me grounded uh, when I remember the, the times that I was wrong. So it's helpful when we start thinking that, oh, you remember uh, last year in May, uh, you were saying something about uh, so-and-so and, -so and uh, you turn out to be wrong. Um, I think when we start having this conversation with ourselves, I think that helps, uh, it helps. And then even if you don't find um, times that we were wrong, which I'm sure is almost impossible. Uh, but even if we are, uh, we were never wrong, um, one of the other tools we can use is to ask ourselves this question. How do I know what's causing this person to do this? Or how do I know what's really behind uh, his or her behavior? We really don't know the reasons that cause people to do certain things. We just see the outer part of it but then we don't really know what's behind it. And I will share with you a story that happened with a priest uh, and his uh, a parishioner. A priest was really um, uh, becoming more and more irritated and knowing that one of his parishioners is not fasting before taking Holy Communion. So finally, one day he decided, I have to talk to her. That's my duty. I'm the pastor of the church. I have to tell the truth and blah, blah, blah. So he goes up to the, to the woman, determined to uh, resolve this issue and teach her the right way. And he says, um, dig in X, <laughs> let's not give a name. Uh, I noticed that you never fast uh, on Sundays when you take communion because you smell coffee. Uh, it's obvious that you have eaten breakfast. Um, you know the traditions, our customs, you need to fast. Uh, and then the woman uh, replies uh, uh, very simply. She says, Father, um, I know that uh, we have fasting traditions in our church. However, I heard all kinds of different things uh, and teachings about fasting. Different priests are telling different things. I, so I was really confused. I didn't know what to do. So I decided for myself, I'm going to eat only once a day. Wow. <laughs> the priest drops the case right then and there, realizing that this woman is much more pious much more closer to Christ than he himself. These kinds of things can happen in our lives as well. So we really don't know what's behind um, people's behavior. So let's not be really quick to judge, but be quick to ask for forgiveness and accept the fact that we might be wrong. God bless you.